Hi, welcome to my channel. If you've looked at any of my previous videos, you've seen that I've been learning about Arduino by building projects from the Arduino project book that was included in the Arduino starter kit. Uh, I'm down to the last couple of projects. Uh, this one's a simple circuit, but it's pretty interesting because we're using the properties of uh, capacitance to build our own little homemade uh, capacitive sensor or capacitive touch sensor. And it's just some foil uh, with a wire folded into it. And I have it taped down to the tabletop here. So basically with the use of a capacitive sensor library, uh, we define a sender pin and a receiver pin. And we have a one meg ohm resistor here. And we just have, I just have this wire that goes to this piece of foil and we set up uh, a sampling rate and it's going to measure uh, a voltage difference between uh, the sender pin and the receiver pin and I think that the body uh, capacitance uh, is going to increase the voltage and we're going to sample and to start with we have no difference between the sender and the receiver pin but as uh, I add my uh, body capacitance uh, we're going to exceed a limit that's going to turn on this red LED so you can see here just from touching this piece of foil and the use of the uh, capacitive sensor library we're getting uh, that to respond that's pretty interesting And then it just st stays right on. And you can play with the sampling rate, although you start to get uh, a lag. It's explained if you have too much of a sampling rate uh, from the sender to the receiver, uh, it, it's going to lag in its response to whatever you want it to do. So I was curious to see what the voltage is on the sense side of the 1 meg ohm resistor and it does increase when I touch the foil. So I think the uh, capacitance of the human body it's increasing the charge here or the ability to store more voltage. You can see that goes up a good amount there. And that's, that's the difference we're measuring from uh, the send and the receive pins or send and receive sides of the 1 meg ohm resistor. So let's look at the program real quick. It's a pretty short program. So you can find this capacitive sensor library on the official Arduino website and you have to bring that in. It's a zip file and you unzip it and you have to pull these files into the Arduino library in the uh, Arduino IDE. So like the uh, servo, we have the include statement here. We have to import the capacitive sensor library. So we start off with the include. And uh, with that, we have to create a, an instance of the capacitive sensor library in this variable cap sensor and when we do that uh, there's two arguments here one is the uh, pin that sends the signal and the second is the pin that receives the signal so cap capacitive sensor pin 4 and pin 2 is the send and receive and this is the threshold that the signal has to uh, be larger than in order to blink the LED. So we start off with a thousand and you can change this because you know I have a certain uh, piece of uh, foil here you know a certain size and uh, that will vary depending on what material you're using and uh, the, the size of it. So you can play around with this number here. And here we're creating the constant integer variable LED pin 
Now the LED is going to be connected to pin 12. Here we start the void setup and serial port communication. We're, we're going to look at the capacitive sensor function and what value that returns. That's the value that we're looking at to uh, be greater than this uh, threshold of uh, initial threshold of a thousand. And we're declaring the uh, using pin mode uh, LED pin as an output. And then we start here we start the loop. So here's a formula for we're using the cap sensor dot capacitive sensor and this number here is the uh, number of samples we're going to take. Uh, it's going to sample the difference between the signal that's being sent and the signal that's being received. And it's going to return that value uh, into sensor value, which is of type long. So this function is going to return a value and store it in variable sensor value. And here we're going to do a serial print on a new line, the sensor value. And here we're going to compare the sensor value to our threshold. So if sensor value is greater than our threshold, we're going to turn the LED on. Digital right, LED pin high. If it is lower than our threshold, we will turn the LED off. Digital right, LED pin low and we're going to insert a delay here of 10. And that's it. So in my case I've been adjusting the threshold value. I have it at 1400 and uh, I adjusted the sample a little bit just to see how they uh, affect the circuit and the capacitive sensor. I, I changed the sample rate to 25. So you can see here for the most part it is consistently on but it does blink occasionally. This is a uh, anti-static mat, so I don't know if that's having an effect. And this works through paper, so it's almost like a, a pressure-sensitive sensor. Yeah, it's pretty consistently on. Let's take a look at the numbers in, in the uh, serial port monitor. So you can see the numbers here increase as I touch the foil. I get over the 1000 or 1400 threshold that I set. Return the auto scroll off, get some numbers here. So you can see the range of numbers that that you're getting, that I'm getting. 1610, 1585, so it's just another example of how the Arduino can be used to uh, react or bring in some sensor data and then we can manipulate that data and have, have the Arduino activate whatever circuits we want it to activate based on the, uh, the input that it's getting from whatever sensors we hook up to it. And, and where you would use this is just uh, limited by your imagination. So another Arduino project completed from the project book. I hope you found this project interesting. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and or comment and stay tuned for more videos on Arduino and electronics in general.